Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will discuss something about the operating system services and that will come under first unit. In when come to operating system services, we will see the user interface, program execution, IO operations, file systems, communication, error management, resource allocation, auditing and security. Let us discuss all these things one by one. Operating system services. The operating system will provide an environment that is user friendly environment to execute the programs and to get the result. Okay. Hence, if it is a convenient environment, then the programmer can execute their programming task easier. Easily they can execute all their programs. And the OS will provide two types of services. The first one is service to programs that is system programs. System programs and service to user second one is service to users okay so we are having two different types of services and the services are that is the these services program services and user services are different from one operating system to another operating system but we can identify the common classes and we are going to see these common classes of operating system services and we know very well that the operating system will lies between the user program and the hardware. See here, this is the hardware layer, first layer, all the physical devices will be placed on this hardware. That is CPU, memory, I.O. devices and other disk systems and etc. Those are physical devices that will come under the layer 1 that is hardware layer. On the top of hardware layer, we are having operating system layer and on the top of operating system only, we can install all the user program and the system program. This is the layer 3. Hence, the operating system will come between user program and the hardware. Now, in the operating system, we are having uh, three different types of uh, services will provide by the operating system. First one is user interface. The operating system will provide user interface here the first one is command line interface cli cli is nothing but command line interface as well as batch interface then graphical user interface okay some operating system will provide only command line and some operating system will provide all the three interfaces right and second one is system calls we know very well what is the system calls that just i explained in the classroom Okay. And third one is services. Now in this class we are going to see only these services. Okay. Let us see all the services one by one. The first one is program execution and second one is IO operations and third one is file system. Fourth is communication, fifth is resource allocation, sixth is accounting and seventh is error deduction and the eighth one is protection and security. And today we will see all these services one by one in somewhat brief manner. Yeah, here I gave the separate list of uh, operating system services and uh, here we are having all the nine different services user interface, program execution, IO operations, file systems, communication, error management, resource allocation, auditing and security. The first one is user interface. Almost all the operating system will provide user interfaces. Through user interface only, the user can interact with the system. There are three different types of user interface. First one is command line and second one is batch interface and third one is graphical user interface. Let us see the first, the command line interface that is CLI. In CLI, the user can give only the text commands through the keyboard to the system. Okay, here the input device is only keyboard. We cannot use mouse here. And second one is batch interface. In this batch interface, commands and directive to control those commands are entered into these files and these files are executed files, executable files. Okay, this is batch interface. And third one is graphical user interface, which is otherwise called as GUI. The interface is a window system. Okay, in, in modern operating system will provide GUI in which the pointing device that is the mouse to direct the input and output systems okay and the menus we can choose the items from 
menus and make selections. So, by using this mouse that is the pointing device which is used to direct the IO devices and choose the items from menu and make selections and another input device is keyboard to enter the text. Okay, so in this graphical user interface, we can use both mouse and keyboard to give the command to the system. Okay, and some operating system will provide any two interfaces or some will provide all the three interfaces. Already we have seen there are two set of services provided by operating system. The first one is user based services and second one is system services, system based services. First let us see the services for the user. Here the first one is program execution. See this is the first service. The operating system will load this program into the memory that is main memory, main memory to execute and the CPU will execute that program. The program under the execution is called as process. Program under execution is called as process. Once the program executed successfully, then the process will be terminated with the success message or if there is any error in between the process execution, then the process will be terminated with failure message. And this is process execution. The another important uh, operation is IO operation the second one here the CPU will run the program that is run the process to complete that process it may require input or output for giving that input or output we required file or IO devices that is through the file we can get the input or the output may be stored into that file or through the input we can get through the input device we can get the input to execute that process or the output of the process may be displayed on the output devices. Okay. For specific uh, devices, a special functions may be desired that is saving the file to the disk. It may be hard disk or CD-ROM okay. and giving input data to execute okay. or blanking the display screen. Okay. So, sometimes these operations may be performed by the to complete the process and for efficiently and production users usually cannot control the IO devices directly ok only through operating system only through the operating system only user can interact with the IO devices that is getting the input from the IO devices that is getting the input from input device or giving the output to the output device through this device drivers because through the device drivers only all the input devices will be connected to the computer. The next service is file system manipulation. This is the third one. Okay. While executing a program, the program may require reading or writing the files and sometimes the directives. <coughs> and the program may also need to create a new file or delete the existing file by the name of this file or search for a given file and list the file information that is the metadata of the file. Metadata means data about the data that is data about this file and some operating system includes permission management. Permission management means to allow or deny the access that is deny the file access or directories based on the file ownership. Okay, only the owner can access those files. This is file system manipulation. Another important service is communication. So, this is the fourth one. Here, when executing a process, sometimes the process interact with each other. More number of process will be interacted with each other to exchange the information to exchange the required information the process will interact with each other. The process can run on either in the same computer or in different computers on the network. Okay, then the communication will take place. The communication may be implemented via either shared memory or the message passing. 
shared memory means two or more process read and write to a shared section of memory the same memory same memory will be shared by two or more process this is called a shared memory communication and next one is message passing here a packet of information in the predefined format are moved between the process by this operating system so this is called as message passing so all the shared memory communication or message pass communication will be taken place only by this operating system the another most important service is error detection and which is otherwise called as error management that is the operating system continuously monitor the system for any error caused by the system okay the errors may occur either in cpu or memory hardware or the io devices or in the user program so error may occur any of these uh, places for each type of error the operating system should take an appropriate action to ensure correct and consistent computing and sometimes the operating system has no choice but it halt the system because the operating system cannot handle the error or sometimes it might terminate an error causing process the process alone will be terminated or return an error message to the process so this is error management and this is resource allocation if multiple process or multiple jobs running at the same time the resource must be allocated to each job or each process and the operating system manages many different types of resources what are the different types of resources the first one is cpu cycles main memory and file storage may have special allocation code and the io devices which may have more general request and response that is release code request uh, of io devices and release of io devices okay and to use of this cpu operating system have cpu scheduling routine this is important for executing a process or multiple process the cpu scheduling routine is important that take into account the speed of the cpu speed of the cpu the jobs that must be executed and the number of registers available and other factors okay the cpu scheduling will take care of the speed of cpu the jobs that must be executed and number of registers available and other factors and there may also the routines to allocate printers that is the external two devices that is printers usb storage devices and other peripheral devices also okay for executing any more number of process we should allocate the resources to that process to execute that come successfully okay this is resource allocation the next one is accounting and auditing accounting means <coughs> which user or which program use how much of computer resources and what kind of resources the program will be used that will be uh, monitored by this accounting and auditing services and this record keeping may use of accounting so that the user can be billed so based on the usage of uh, the resources the user can uh, build or simply for maintaining the usage statistics and the use of usage statistics may be valuable tool for the researchers who wish to reconfigure the system to improve the computing services okay this is accounting and auditing that is which user or which program will use how much resources and what kind of resources that should be keep on monitoring and the account will be maintained by the operating system the next one is protection and security here uh, the most important one is the owner of information or otherwise called as sensitive data sensitive data the owner of sensitive data may store their information into multi user computer or the networked computer 
then the other person may try to access this sensitive data. So, we have to control the use of that sensitive data or the information. And when several uh, separate process can execute concurrently on the CPU, then one process should not interfere with other process. Both should execute separately and one should not interfere with other process. And the protection involves ensuring that all the access to the system resources that to be controlled. Okay, the system resource access to be controlled and the system to be protected from outsiders also. That is the system should to be protected by unauthorized users and the security is required for each user to authenticate to the system by giving a unique password to each user to access the system resources. And security, security is also required for external LIVO devices also which includes network adapter from the invalid access attempts. Okay, so, these are the protection and security services for operating system. Up to this we have seen the computer system services that is the operating system services from first unit. Under this topic we have seen the user interfaces, program execution, IO operations, file systems, communication, error management, resource allocation, auditing and security. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from first unit. And you can expect this question from 10 mark question or 5 mark question in the university examination. Thank you.